Hello, Periscope. <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to go live on... Hi, DX Hurst. Um, I'm trying to go live on Facebook as well. So, hold on one minute while I get that going. Hey, Corey. Thanks for being on here. All right. Looks like I am live on both. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so that... I can see both of these. So, welcome everybody. Hopefully, sorry, I'm trying to get, get comfortable here. Hey everybody, jumping on on Periscope. I am also on um, Facebook Live. Hi, 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 hi. Um, Leilani, oh yay, you're back. I, Forget your name. I'm looking on Periscope, too. So I'm on Facebook Live and on Periscope. Um, thanks for being here, everyone. Be sure to um, share this out uh, by, if you're on Periscope, by swiping down, swiping left, whichever device you're on. If you like what we're saying, then, um, you know, on, on Periscope, give me some love. Hey, Corey, you're on both. Okay, so I'm testing this out. And, um, hey, Deborah, good to see you. Um, I'm really, so I was told that I'd be able to swipe filters on here and I'm not, not seeing that on the Facebook live and I'm sorry. I sound horrible. I've been fighting a cold since I started feeling a little, a little sick on Monday and it's, um, not getting any better. So the changes. So there were big, big announcements by Facebook today. If you haven't heard, no, I don't have any filters, Joel. I'm like, I'm swiping and um, nothing's happening. I, I feel like it looks the same to me. And I, I checked before I got on here to to uh, see if I needed to do an update and there were no updates. So I I don't know because I just had to update my iPad. So I'm assuming that um, it, it updated it. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about the changes to Facebook Live. Um, well, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki says, you may be sick, but you look great. Um, I, yeah, I'm not feeling well today, but still um, wanted to go live and talk about this because um, I feel like these changes are huge for Facebook. Video is, it, it's here. It is here. Um, and it's not going anywhere. People are going to be doing Facebook Live. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with Periscope. I don't know what's going to happen with um the other live video platforms. It's going to be an interesting couple weeks, months going forward. Um, but definitely live video is the, the way to go. And I firmly believe in that. Hey, Shelly, I agree. I'm so excited about it as well. I love doing the live video. I love being on the live video. It's super fun interaction, engagement with people. So basically, um, some of the changes that happened or that were announced today with Facebook was that you can now go live in groups and events, which is exciting because there's so many different ways that you can share um, your life with people. So one of the things that, you know, comes to mind is, so let's just say, for example, that you've got a family reunion or a birthday party that people can't come to. You could create a a group of your family members and go live within that group so that way people that couldn't be there could participate via via the um facebook live um on your group or your event so let's say you have an event going on and people can't be there hey joyce happy belated birthday um so you could share events for people that can't actually attend in person and give them like a sneak peek into what they're missing. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um, you could do like backstage stuff if you're at a, a show or an event. Oh. Um, you could do sneak peeks. 
You could do live Q and A's for your groups. Um, I recently just started a social media group and I could do, we could do a live Q and A within that group. Um, I run a couple other groups like a social media 101. We could do live Q and A. So it's, I feel like there's a huge potential there. I also found out today that there is somewhat of a potential downside to being able to go, go live in these groups because people have groups with a lot of people in there and they struggle with spam a lot of times or people, you know, just wanting to get on there and promote their business and not necessarily be a, an active participant in the, in the group. Hey, Anna, thanks for jumping on here. Um, so one of the things I do see that being an issue as far as groups where you may have issues with with people that are spamming other members and so basically the groups anybody can go live if you're a member of that group anybody can go live and that's a little bit scary for for people that run groups i mean you don't want somebody hopping on there and and doing something that you wouldn't necessarily support or, or want on your page so um, one of the things that I recommend is that you just ensure that you have it in your rules that if you're going to be a part of the group that uh, it specifically states you cannot go live on this group um, either without permission from the from the owner or the, the you know the the page manager. Uh, that would be, I guess, probably your best bet is just to make sure it's in your rules and make sure that you clearly state to everybody in the group that if they go live, they will immediately be banned from the group. Uh, that's probably your best bet right now until um, we figure out our Facebook ads a way for, for the page managers to um, turn that off. Uh, you definitely, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's somewhat of a big risk that for groups, for people that run groups. So the other thing is that um, they added, so it used to be that you could just like and comment. And so they've added so that you can, you can do the regular reactions. So, you know, they just rolled out reactions within the last month or so. So basically you can share your reactions, like, love, laugh, the sad, the wow, the angry. Um, hopefully there won't be a lot of people adding the or using the angry emoticon if somebody's going live because um that that's not very nice and uh the replay comments were not showing up and from what i understand which i'm not seeing it so i don't know if you guys can um that are on facebook i would love to see if you can um share um, if you can share like the um reactions and if you can, um, so you're supposed to be able to like give uh, love or whatever. Um, and I'm looking at my notes over here. So basically you're supposed to be able to, um, like share love and it's supposed to show up on. So like basically for those of you that don't know, if you're not on Periscope on Periscope, you can double, double tap the screen to give love. And Facebook didn't have that same um, that same capability, and supposedly they added that with the with the upgrade. So I would love to see if anybody can do that on Facebook. I would love to see it. So supposedly they're supposed to fly in from right to left or left to right. I'm not sure which way they come in. Um, so if anybody can do that on Facebook Live, I am I'm actually on Facebook Live and Periscope right now, um, live streaming. So if anybody can do that, I would love to see it. And if you're trying, I'm not seeing anything. Amy, I see you're on. And since you're social media peep, I uh, I did not see anything. Deborah, uh, did you, are you, you're on Facebook Live, so you double tapped. Um, see, and I, I, I thought I was supposed to be able to, to swipe and get filters as well, and it's not working for me. And like I said before, I don't have any updates, so I'm not, maybe for whatever reason, I haven't received this yet. I'm not sure if it's um, just on personal pages. I know other people that have been on and have been able to do the filters. Um, so 
I, I'm not sure. Maybe I just don't have it yet. I don't know. So basically, um, the, the filters are another thing. So you're supposed to be able to swipe and get filters, which I can't do. And then I, I read an article from Facebook earlier today that said they are going to introduce that you can, you can write. Um, so doodle on the video. So like if I was, I don't know, let's say I was teaching something, I could write on my screen. And so you'd be able to see that. Uh, so that's coming soon. I, I don't know when that's going to be available. I am not seeing the love either, Amy. I I don't know. When I look at mine, all I see is like I can like your comments, uh, but that's about it. Uh, I, and I'm not sure what you're seeing on your end. Um, so one of the things, and I did see this earlier. I was on um, I was on Facebook Live, and Brian Fanzo was was live streaming. And I did see the ability to invite a friend to watch. So I don't know if you guys uh, see that. It, sh it should be just like a little circle with the plus sign and maybe like a, a head. I can't remember exactly what it looked like, but you should be able to invite a friend. And so you can um, basically you can select friends that you think might be interested in whatever it is that you're you're viewing live. So that that's new. And then. Um, they said, and I, I searched my, okay, so you can like other people that are on here as well, Amy, um, but are you able to invite people? Amy, let me know, see if you could invite like Beth and, and see if that works, because supposedly she's supposed to get a notification that I'm live, or Michelle, or somebody else within Colorado Women in Social Media, so I'm just going to do a little plug for them, just since I mentioned it. Um, but it's Colorado Women in Social Media, I'm a part of, there's 13 of us women here in, um, Colorado Women in Social Media, and basically we came together, uh, about a little over a year ago, and it's, it's just a group of women that we all do social media. I believe that you should see the, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to answer Amy's question real quick. Do I just tag her? Um, I believe that you should see, are you on mobile or are you on um, a desktop, Amy? I don't know that it <coughs> it matters. Um, you should see the little icon with the plus and you should be able to go in there and pick her from a list. I, I didn't try it out earlier and I should have. Um, but basically the other thing that they talked about with their, on the mobile app, they, they're supposed to have a dedicated spot where you can go um, discover new live videos, which is cool. Okay, so Amy says no invite or tagging. I'm wondering, are, are you Android? I think you're Android, Amy. That might be why. Um, it may be that it's just an iPhone. Huh, that's weird. Deborah's on iPhone and she says doesn't see an invitation option. I wonder if just everything hasn't rolled out to everyone yet and it will be, you know, um, over the next couple days. So, huh, interesting. Because I know other people have the filters. Joel, are you still on here? Um, because he had he was on earlier and he had the filters. Um, so, okay, and Amy is on iPhone too. So I saw it earlier when I was on with Fanzo with the little plus icon. And I was on... Um, I was on the Facebook Live on my mobile, and I saw it. So it was basically just down in the, like, where I would write a comment. It was to the left. So Joel did have filters. I don't know why I don't. Bummer. <laughs> um, so the, the other thing I want to talk about was the, the mobile app eventually, and they said that this was coming soon or rolling out, um, but they're supposed to have a dedicated place where you can go discover new videos. So you can look at um, what's going on in the world. You can search for, you know, friends that are that are live now. Um, creators, you know, content creators, people that you admire that you want to watch. Um, and you can search by topic. So that's cool. Um, so, Deborah, I would love to know if you can see the reactions. Try and, and do a reaction. Do like a wow or a love and let me, I would love to, if you could do that and see if I actually see it, because it's supposed to come up on the screen, I thought. Um, 
So I think that's cool. The other, the other thing that they added was a Facebook Live map. So you can see what's happening around the world. Uh, which I really feel like this is going to connect the world in a new way. So the big question everyone is asking right now, okay, so Deborah just tapped wow and I didn't see anything. I wonder if maybe that will show up on the replay. Um, Joel, if you know the answer to that, I would love for you to pop that in the comments um, because I know Joel went live today and I don't know if he was seeing that stuff um, when he was live or if it just shows up on the replay. So what does this mean for other streaming apps, live streaming apps? So there's been lots of conversation around is Periscope going away? I mean, we all know Meerkat died. Oh, you did. Okay, Deborah saw it go across the screen. Okay, so maybe it's you just see it, Deborah, but that's that's weird. I, you would think that you would show it to the person that's live live streaming. Um, and then maybe, like I said, maybe it shows up on the replay. So I guess we'll have to I'll have to watch the replay and see if if I can see it there. Um. So I'd love to know everybody's feedback on what you think this means for other live streaming apps. I I have my own opinion. I I think that I love Periscope. I do. I really do. And I've been on Periscope for a while now, but I just I feel like I have such a great fan base and following on Facebook that and the way that Facebook's changing it. However, I will say this. And I've had this conversation with many people. I, You get to connect with the people that already know, love, and trust you on Facebook because those are your friends. Those are your family. Those are the people that are connected to you. But Periscope has a purpose because you get to connect with new people that you don't know. I, I'm telling you, every single time I go live on Periscope, I connect with new people. And hey, Rachel. Hey, Margaret. Thanks for hopping on here. I, I love seeing... But the longer you're on Facebook Live, the more people are notified that you're on and they jump on. Hey, Greg. Um, so it's really fun just to, to watch that. And it's and, you know, if you're if you have if you know anything about social media, one of the things that that we've discovered is that basically Facebook Live, the longer that you're on, the more people jump on. So you, your viewers goes up, up, up on Facebook Live, but Periscope is the opposite. So when you first go live on Periscope, you get a lot of people jump on and then it declines as you, you know, do your, your live video. So I love that about, about Facebook. Um, I would love to, to hear your guys' comments about what you think is going to happen going forward with, um, with Facebook Live and, and everything that is changing and 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 coming this way, I really think that Facebook Live making these changes is a game changer, and it's it's going to be exciting to to see it roll out and see more and more people going live on Facebook. I really think that this is the um, it's this is it's the wave of the future. Like everybody's going to be doing live video. Like you're not going to see boring texts anymore. I don't think Periscope is going anywhere either. Um, Tasha just commented, I don't think Periscope is going anywhere. And like I said, I I truly believe that there's a purpose for both of them. Facebook lets you connect with people that you already are connected to and that know, love, and trust you. And Periscope lets you reach new audiences. So, Yes, Joel, it is the next big thing. It's it is the it is the big thing right now. Everybody's talking about live video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of here. I've been sick <coughs> and talking this much is making me cough. <laughs> so I I would love to hear your comments um as to what you think is gonna happen with live video. And um I'd love to hear if anybody else tries to go, if you go live. Um, be sure I would, I would love to be tagged if you're going live and I'll try and hop on, um, uh, because I really want to test it out from the other side and see what I'm seeing from my end as a user. Um, I think it's, it's interesting that I don't have all the features and, 
I don't know. So thank you, Deborah. Um, thank you, Margaret. Hopefully I will be, I'm going to go to bed early tonight and hopefully I'll be back in business to get again tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I've been fighting through it. It's not that bad. I'm just like, uh, and I know Amy, you just had a cold too. So I hope you're feeling better. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight. I hope everybody has a great night and I will see you again tomorrow. Okay. Bye.